Artline Wood Pro is an epoxy resin created for the pouring of countertops and other items with complex relief, where it is difficult to remove the air and high casting layer is required. This formula is created specially for pouring wood, concrete and other porous surfaces, as it has a slower solidification time, during which full and easy degassing occurs, which allows you to create the purest, 100% transparent casting layers. In this video, we will show you the whole process of working with Wood Pro Resin by Artline. The success of epoxy resin casting will depend on three factors – temperature, humidity and cleanness. Casting conditions – casting object, project, formwork. The corners and places of connection were processed with transparent silicone sealants, checked for tightness with water, filling, pure, dry slice of oak with good adhesion to the resin. We covered it with Artline's Honey Resin because it polymerizes quickly and two hours later we started casting. The primed parts of the slice were beautifully laid out on the formwork. They were glued to the bottom with a sealant because without it the resin would lift them to the surface. Proportions and mixing The Wood Pro resin is mixed with a 3 to 1 ratio with three parts of the resin, component A, and one part of hardener, component B. Pay attention! Allow 5 to 7 minutes for mixing and remember to pour the mixture from one glass to the other. The hardener deposits on the walls of the container, so when pouring, properly remove the mixture from the walls. When mixing large volumes, use a mixer. Do not be afraid of bubbles. They will come out on their own in 1 to 2 hours. Coloring All dyes, pastes and pigments from Artline have been tested with resin. They blend perfectly. The amount of coloring agent up to 10% does not affect the solidification process. Our casting will be without any dyes to show the transparency degree and absence of bubbles. Casting height When casting over 1 kg, the layer height is up to 4 cm. If the volume of the prepared compound is up to 1 kg, the maximum height of the casting layer is 10 cm. After mixing the components A and B, a chemical reaction begins with heat emission and this heat creates a solidification process in the resin. When the process begins, the heat must be sufficient, but without exceeding the pre-boiling temperature and, of course, the boiling temperature. In addition, if your formwork is made of dense materials that quickly remove heat, it must be insulated after casting. Otherwise, if the temperature differs at the points where the resin comes into contact with the formwork, Gas hydrogen is formed in the form of small air bubbles. The first 30 hours, the resin remains liquid, which allows air bubbles to come out on their own. Then starts the process of temperature release and solidification. At this stage, it is necessary to fight the bubbles that have formed on the walls of the formwork and casting object. If a new layer is poured earlier than it should be, the lower layer will boil because there is nowhere to release heat. If you fill it later than the specified time, the lower layer will harden strongly and will not be able to merge with the upper layer. In this case, you will see a transition between the layers. You can control the casting temperature with a pyrometer or a thermal imaging camera. The next layer can be cast after the layer has cooled down to 30 to 35 degrees. Polishing Sanding is carried out by a random orbital sander with abrasive mesh from 80 to 3000 grits. Changing the abrasive and moving to the next step can be done after there are no signs of the previous abrasive. 